Hey guys, I'm Sean with Signature Solar Tech Support, and today I'm going to show you how to monitor your Life Power 4 batteries with our BMS Test software. To get started, you'll need your read write cable that comes with your battery, as well as a computer equipped with Windows 7 or later. Now we're making our connections using the USB port. Then we'll make our connections to the RS-485 port of the master battery. Now we'll set our master battery's dip switch settings, which is going to be 0000, zero, zero, zero or all down. Once we've made our connections between the battery and the computer, we want to go to eg4electronics.com and scroll to the bottom of the page. Select the Downloads tab. We're going to scroll to the bottom of this page. And from here, we want to select the BMS Test Life Power 4 Direct Download link. It will prompt a download on the bottom of the screen. We're going to open it up. We're going to go over to our Downloads tab. We're going to right click, and from here we're going to extract all, hit extract again. Once that has been done, we're going to open up the file folder, and we're going to want to run the BMS test application. It'll prompt a pop-up, we're going to click on more info, and run anyway. It'll prompt another pop-up, we're going to click yes. Now that we've got the software to successfully pull up, we need to go and locate our COM port. We can do that by going to our device manager. Now once the device manager has been pulled up, you want to scroll down to the ports section. And our COM port can be located by USB serial CH340. And to the right of it will tell you which COM port you'll need to be. In this case, it will be COM6 for us. So we'll go back to the software page, and on the port number tab, we're going to select the drop down and select our COM port, which is COM6, and then we're going to connect. You can verify that it's been opened successfully by the bottom of the screen right here. So from here, we're going to go to our BAT info page. We're going to clear the sequence, and we're going to change the start ADR to zero. And then we're going to add the address to sequence. It could take one to two minutes for it to fully populate. And that is how you successfully run a BMS test on your LifePower 4 batteries. I'm Sean with Signature Solar. Thanks for watching.